You're spending a lot of time with Annie, I noticed, online. <laughs> not, not that long. Um, maybe I went a little over the top from Morning Grok Imagine, but... Uh... <laughs> well, but in all seriousness, those characters and these robots, that seems to be, you know, like maybe they... You could get the embodiments of Annie, I suppose. Yeah. Why, why the human form factor, Elon? You could make something that's maybe better than a human or maybe simpler than a human to do specific tasks and maybe better than a human to do more things than a human can do. How do you decide to make it just like a human? Well, if you wanted to do all the things that a human can do, it turns out you need a humanoid robot. Um, so if you wanted to do a subset, it, that's much easier. Um, but uh, it turns out humans evolved to this, the shape and capabilities that we, we, we have um, it, it, for, for good reasons. Uh, it, it actually is that there is, a, you know, like, there's value to having five, you know, four fingers and a thumb. Um, and e even the pinky, actually, is, is quite useful. Um, it, toes are a much more of a question mark, but, but, but the fingers... <laughs> Well, also, humans, like, humans have designed the world as well, so we designed it for us. For us. So exactly. if you can make a humanoid robot, it'll be immediately backwards compatible with what we've built the world for. Precisely. Elon, there's, the, 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 another, there's yeah. another part of um, the robot. So there's the LLMs, there's the actuation in the hands, but also there's the, um, the silicon that runs it. And there was, you know, Dojo, I think you, you posted on X... AI5 and AI6, and it just seemed like you were incredibly excited about the direction in which the silicon layer was also going. Can you tell us about that and what that is and what, 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 are, we, what are we building here? What is being built? Is it a complement to everything that exists in the world? Is it a potential long-term competitor? What is it? Um, yeah, so at, at Tesla, we basically had two different chip programs, one Dojo and one uh, do Dojo on the training side, and then what we call, you know, AI for, it's just our inference chip. Um, uh, that the AI force is currently shipping in all vehicles. Um, and we're finalized, finalizing the design of AI five, which will be an immense jump from AI four. Um, by some metrics, the improvement in AI five will be 40 times better than AI four. Wow. So 40 percent, 40 times, um, and and uh, this is because we work so closely at a very fine grained level on the AI software and the AI hardware. So we know exactly where the limiting factors are, and and um, and so effectively the AI hardware and software teams are co-designing the chip. Um, so a 40x improvement in the silicon, I think, then as it as everybody here in the audience experiences it, is that just an almost like an order of magnitude increase in the quality of FST and the safety that you experience as a Tesla driver and then the quality of the robot? Like, where does it all manifest when you, when you, you know, bring it up and actually get it into production? Yeah, to be precise, the 40X is on, if you say, like, compared to the worst limitation on AI4, which is running the softmax operation, yeah. Uh, we currently have to run softmax in around 40 steps in emulation mode, whereas that'll be, just be done in a few steps uh, natively in AI5. Um, AI5 chip will also be uh, easily handle mixed precision uh, models, so you don't have it, it, it'll dynamically handle mixed precision. There's a bunch of sort of technical stuff that AI5 will do a lot better. Um, in terms of of nominal sort of uh, raw compute, it's, it's eight times more compute, um, about nine times more memory, uh, roughly five times more memory bandwidth. Um, so, uh, but because we're addressing some core limitations in AI4, you multiply that by that, that 8x compute improvement by another 5x improvement because of, of uh, optimization at a, at, a, at a very fine grained silicon level of things that are currently suboptimal in AI4. That's where you get the 40x improvement. You had. Um, um, oh, keep going. Keep going. Uh, so, now, now that said, I th I'm, I am confident that the current ch uh, chips, uh, AI, AI4 chips that are in the cars, 
will uh, achieve self-driving safety that is at least two to three times that of, of human and, and maybe even 10x. Um, and the software that uh, will be released for that is, is coming out over the next uh, few months. So version 14 will be the biggest uh, upgrade in Tesla software since version 12. Um, we are increasing the uh, parameter count by an order of magnitude. Um, the, 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 there's, there's, there's a lot of uh, reinforcement learning that's been used. There's, um, we, we, there, there, there's a, like you can think of AI sort of a, as a way of compressing reality. And, and, and some of those compression steps uh, we, uh, were too lossy. And, and we address the lossiness in the compression steps. Um, so th these are all software updates that'll that'll go out. So just over there updates. Um, your car is going to feel like it is sentient by the end of the year. Yeah, it feels that way already, to be honest. Um, I saw in the trades that you spent about seventeen billion dollars on some spectrum, and oh, yeah. that um, yeah, um, so some couch change um, to enable your satellites and the Starlink network to connect directly with phones. What will that look like in a year or two? Are we going to drop our Verizon account and just expand our Starlink account? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of hoping because Verizon kind of sucks. How, how, ma how many of you want a Starlink phone? Who wants a Starlink phone? <laughs> Oh. Is it is it technically uh, Elon, possible? I know, you, I know you can't see it, but it's everyone. Yeah, it's everyone. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so it, this is a kind of a long-term thing. Uh, it, it, it will allow SpaceX to ha uh, deliver high bandwidth connectivity directly from the satellites to the phones. Um, but uh, there are hardware changes that need to happen in the phone. So the, it, since these frequencies are not supported in current phones, uh, they, the chipset has to be modified to in, in add these frequencies. Um, and that probably is a two-year time frame. So the phones that um, are able to use the spectrum that was acquired probably start shipping in around two years. Um, and, um, and, and then we also need to pull the satellites that are going to communicate on those frequencies. So in parallel, we're building the satellites and working with the handset makers to add these frequencies to the phones. Um, and then the, the satellites and the phones will then handshake very well to achieve high bandwidth connectivity. But the, the net effect is that you should be able to watch uh, videos uh, anywhere on your phone. Wow. And From it's going to be crazy. And what, and do these... Do these frequencies, would they work indoors, inside buildings, you know, like, like yes. your phone currently does? Okay. And so, will you be able to have basically no, no, if, like if you if you if you're in a building with a with a like a, a thick metal roof, then no. But um, <laughs> no, the same the same types of, of yeah yeah uh, normal yeah. normal homes. Yes, yeah. yes. Elon, is your vision um, for this that instead of you know having an AT and T account or and then roaming when you're in the UK or you're in India, it's just we could have one direct deal with Starlink. It works all over the world, eventually, not today, but at some point. Is that the end goal? that basically we don't need a yeah. regional carrier, we have a global carrier and that would be you. Uh, that, that would be one of the options. To be clear, we're, we're not gonna put the other carriers out of business, they're still gonna be around because they, they own a lot of spectrum. So uh, there's, uh, but, but yes, you'll, you should be able to have a Starlink, uh, like, you have, like you have an AT&T or T-Mobile or Verizon or whatever, you, should be, you, you could have a, 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 a you know, account with Starlink that, uh, works with your you know, Starlink uh, antenna at home uh, for your Wi-Fi as well as on your phone. And um, yeah, it would be a comprehensive solution for high bandwidth at home and for high bandwidth direct to sell. Could you buy some uh, carriers time. to have more spectrum? <laughs> Maybe you could um, buy Verizon? Not out of the question, I suppose, if, if, if that may happen. 